Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another video. This is meant to be a fun video. This is going to be my 2022 and beyond luxury wish list. You guys know that I purchase some luxury items, but not, I don't do a whole lot. I feel like I don't do a whole lot. Number one is I'm pretty, I'm not sure if frugal is the right word, but I watch my funds, I watch my money and I make sure that I, you know, handle my mandatory money matters first before I go into, you know, purchasing things and treating myself with things. So anyway, like I said before, this is supposed, this is meant to be a fun video. When I watch them, I think they're fun and are meant to give us ideas. It doesn't mean that I'm going to purchase everything on this list this year or ever. Um, it also means I could take something off of this list and I could also add something to the list. If I see something um, that is luxury that I like, I usually ponder on it for a few months and I'll keep. if I keep coming back to it, then I know that, okay, that's something that I really wanna buy. Cause let's be honest, honey, sometimes we be in our feelings child and just be out there buying the most and we don't need to be buying the most. <laughs> so I typically ponder on it for a little bit. I know sometimes my husband rolls his eyes because he's like, she's just going in the store and just buying this thing. But really and truly, I thought about it for a few months or so. <laughs> so anyway, let's get on into my list. I will be putting the photos up here on the screen so you can see what I'm talking about. And then I also have two items that I've already purchased from this list. So the first thing on the list is the Burberry check panel trench. This trench, okay, so I get emails from Burberry. And when I saw this trench, I was like, oh my goodness, this is such a beautiful trench coat. I feel like in the coat section, you should at least have a trench, one trench. To me, this trench is a classic trench. It, it comes in two colors, honey and black, I do believe. And I'm a little torn because on one hand, I wanna do the honey because typically, that's the color a trench comes in, but the black just really makes that check pop. So we went to Lenox Mall here in Atlanta and I wanted to take it a step further and try on the trench. They did have it in the Burberry store. However, they didn't have my size. They had a six and I really need a four. But when I put that thing on y'all, I was like, yes, yes, this will stay on my wish list until I'm ready. Now this trench is not cheap, but I really feel like this is a trench that I would have for many, many, many years. And I do believe it is a classic trench and it will really look good with the next item I'm about to show you. So next up are the Burberry Vintage Check Sneakers. These are some sneakers that I've been looking at for a minute. I actually have been looking at Burberry sneakers for a little while, but I never saw any that I really wanted to pull the trigger and go ahead and purchase until these. These screamed my name. I was like, these are perfect for me. Let me show you. Okay, so I got these from Neiman Marcus. And if you're in Neiman Marcus and you go to the shoe area, find James. He is such a delight. He is so helpful and um, he just makes the experience such a great experience. So these are the sneakers that I purchased. And of course it comes in the Burberry box. I'm actually doing an unboxing reel on Instagram. Then this is the dusk bag, which is like a mint green. And here is the sneaker. What? Look at that. And then the back is the red with the Burberry. The sole is black. It's just perfect for me. Like these, these say my name. Like I feel like my name is in there. So it has a combination of nylon and suede. This part right here is suede. Um, this of course is the Burberry material and print. And then some of the other parts are um, nylon. And then I love the fact that they have a yellow shoestring. It just gives it a great pop of color. So as I stated before, these would be perfect with either one of the trenches, but I feel like the black one would go best with this. But anywho, I got these and I am completely in love. I cannot wait to style these shoes. 
Okay, so the next item is also something that I've already purchased. I looked at it months ago, went into the store, tried it on, compared it to some other luxury brand watches because it is a watch. And this is the Gucci Swiss Diamond Bracelet Watch. And I'm so excited. Now this completes my watch collection. I have five watches. And um, I wanted to add this one to the collection. As you know me, I'm strategic in everything that I do. And um, as I stated before, this completes the collection that I had in my brain that I needed. <laughs> so it came in this beautiful Gucci box. It's nothing extravagant, but again, it does have the Swiss diamonds in it. And it has some other little, you know, bells and whistles. So I'm, I'm sure this is not going to focus. So I'll try to give you a close up. Um, it also has Gucci written back here and inscribed on the back. Um, and then the winder, I don't know if that's the, the right name where you, you know, wind your watch. It's like um, the spikes on the stars and it actually has Gucci uh, written on that as well. So it's just a really nice everyday watch to me. Like I could wear this every day um, as a casual watch, but then I could also see myself wearing this with a suit. I had a choice between um, the black face and then this opalisk um, face and I went with the black one. And the reason I went with the black one is because I felt like this would um, be more versatile than the one with the white face. So yeah, that is the second thing that I get to check off of my 2022 wish list. So this next item is something that appealed to me. It popped on my Instagram feed and I was thinking, hmm, if I was to purchase a luxury ankle boot, it would probably be something like this. And so this is the Gucci ankle boots with the double GG. Um, what I'm showing you now is the Gucci print, but they also have one in all black, but I would definitely go with the Gucci print. Again, this is not something that I have to purchase, but I definitely want to put a bookmark there. Let's put a bookmark right there. Ooh, so next up are designer hoops. So I'm sure you've seen Everybody and their mom talk about the LV hoops with the big LV in the middle. Those retail, I think, for $7.15. They were sold out at one time. And when I was really, really looking at them, and then um, now I believe that they are back in stock. However, I also own a few um, pieces from Simone Smith, who is LL Cool J's wife. And she makes a lot of really, really nice hoops. So... The first ones I'm gonna show you are the Louis Vuitton. Here they are, we know what they look like. But then I'm gonna show you a couple from Simone Smith. Also, I'm not sure if her and Mary J. Blige are in um, business together or she just gave Mary her own collection, but her hoops range between 150 up to, I think, 300 something like that which up against Louis Vuitton and some of these other uh, accessory companies honey is a deal and they look really really nice and she has a great variety she has the silver the gold and they're really nice so definitely check those out but I'm definitely going to purchase a pair from her collection okay so two more items and I am done so the next item that I really want to purchase is something like, I'm saying something like, because I'm not purchasing a Chanel uh, flat bag, but I want a shoulder bag, a black shoulder bag, that is similar to a Chanel flat bag. So I was looking at a few of them. So there are a few on Gucci that I thought was really cute. Of course, I love a couple of the Chanel ones, but I'm just not ready to spend that type of money. Um, on a handbag and I'll probably look into like Kurt Geiger and that mid-level luxury as well but I don't have like a basic black shoulder bag like a medium size bag and I really want to add that to my handbag collection and last but not least is a Chanel fragrance and I do have a sample and it is the Chanel Sycamore Eau de Parfum did I say that right? And it's a part of the less exclusive collection. Now these are premium 
perfumes they smell totally different than some of the other perfumes that you would you know smell in like a sephora macy's this is like premium perfumes when i went into the chanel store and i smelled these particular perfumes i was like oh okay because the other ones i don't i'm not a chanel fan in terms of fragrances except for these so they have two sizes in these bottles um i think one is like a 2.5 another one is like a 6.8 but the 2.5 is 250 and then the the 6.8 i'm probably getting those measurements incorrect are like 400 dollars a bottle so i would definitely get the smaller bottle um if i was to invest but the chanel sycamore parfum is it smells so so good and i'll try to put the notes on the screen but i really really like it it's like a um sensual woodsy smoky patchouli maybe scent <laughs> i'm saying that all wrong too but it's a fragrance that i would wear like when i'm really dressing up or date night it's it's one of those types of scents so that completes my 2022 wish list for now again it's subject to change but i hope you enjoyed my list so far i hope you enjoyed my two unboxings i'm definitely going to enjoy my items if you are new to my channel welcome welcome to my youtube family go ahead and check me out on instagram as well i do a lot of fashion reels to my ogs as always thank you guys so much for watching and supporting me and i will see you guys on the next video bye